Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can add and display an org chart on a SharePoint page. An org chart is a new, relatively new web part that we now have in SharePoint Online, a pretty cool web part to uh, kind of make your page more dynamic, spice up the look and feel of your um, you know, SharePoint site and uh, make it a little bit more user-friendly and informational to uh, end users. Uh, so let's go ahead and add uh, an org uh, chart uh, web part. So I'm here on the HR site uh, within my company internet. I'm going to edit the page and let's just add a web part somewhere over here. You can scroll to it, but you can also just uh, type in org chart in here. Here we go, here it is. And it added a web part. Now you have to specify the name of the individual. So I'm going to uh, specify, you know, my name. Let's just say I'm uh, in charge of HR. Now by default, the web part shows you uh, all the people that report to you. So if I'm, let's say, the head of HR, this is, you know, good enough, and you can, you know, just leave it as is. Uh, and as a matter of fact, let's just, you know, publish this so you can kind of see what's going on. So. So by default, it obviously shows uh, my name uh, and you know all the people who report to me. In this case, I have Mary reporting to me, but it doesn't show who I'm reporting to. And in order, if you want, I mean, in most cases, this is good enough, right? You just maybe want to show kind of the hierarchy um, of, of users um, underneath you. But in case, if you want to also display the the uh, you know, the uh, my managers, you know, the people you report to, what you need to do is this. Yeah, let's uh, edit the page again. Click the little pencil icon and you have to specify, you see it even tells you here, number of reporting levels up. So if I want to see, you know, people above me, I need to specify how many levels up uh, I want to display. Um, you know, I forget what I have set up in my environment. Let's just, you know, get, you know uh, tell it five levels. Here we go. And look at this now, it not only displays, you know, me uh, and people that um, report to me, it also displays the people I report to. And if I had, you know, other levels, uh, it would display them all uh, here as well. Um, so uh, that's all there is to it. There is not much in terms of setup. Uh, it pulls the data from uh, your Active Directory, from your Azure AD, uh, essentially the same, uh, the same capability that we have in uh, in Delft, uh, it just uh, the beauty about this particular web part that we don't need to navigate to Delft uh, to display this information. You can pretty much display it dynamically right here uh, on the page. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned a new trick today. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.